In Brandsburg versus Hayes, the Supreme Court seemed to decide that reporters did not have any privilege under the First Amendment to keep their sources confidential. Uh, but there was an interesting concurring opinion by Justice Lewis Powell in which Justice Powell suggested that reporters could still fight an effort to get information from them if they could show that there was bad faith or harassment. And this led to a series of lower court decisions in which they said that the real meaning of the case was that there was some First Amendment privilege and that a balancing test would be applied to determine whether or not the reporter had to reveal his privilege. Now I have to tell you that it turns out that Justice Powell's papers are at the library at Washington and Lee Law School, where I'm the law school dean. And I had the privilege of going through his original file in the Brandsburg case and I found a document in which Justice Powell was keeping track of the votes inside the Supreme Court uh, as they were tallied. And under that tally sheet, it's quite clear that he did not believe that the case stands for the proposition that reporters have a privilege. His vote is clearly checked off in the no column saying there is no privilege. And then in Justice Powell's handwriting, it says, as I do not believe there is a constitutional privilege. So even though we've had this extraordinary debate over the years about whether or not Brandsburg does give the reporters the right to resist uh, revealing their sources, when you go back to the original source on the issue, I think the better view is that's not what the court intended.